Here we are, back for another one. So, this time, it occurred to me the other day that I have never actually done my own personal review on this vehicle. The vehicle overall. Because some people out there might be looking to buy one of these vehicles. They might be looking to... So what is it for me that made me want to buy this car? Well, I could go into the deep philosophical side of that. However, uh, for me, like, they're just so simple, they're easy to work on, because and because they're so basic, you can do so much with them, see? Like, you can fit all kinds of accessories on them. Like, the, one of the next things I'm going to be doing to this is I'm going to be fitting central locking. Because a lot of people uh, tend to not remember to lock the doors in the car, and then I have to go around and lock it with the key, and I'm like, yay, thank you. So many people used to all their central locking cars and I'm just like... And as you'll know, like these vehicles are very slow vehicles. Um, but they have a lot of low down torque and power. So for me, like... I've been to some places that are pretty bad. Like this place, for example, is... A good example of somewhere that's pretty hard. The camera never does it justice, but... These, um... These are some steep hill climbs. I'm basically going up a mountain here. And like, but it just eats it for breakfast. Like you can, you can put it into low range first gear and you can just crawl up anything. It's just, yeah, they're base, it's just such a good little rock crawler. Like, and being a smaller, also being a smaller engine too, um, the fuel efficiency is quite good, which is handy considering the price of diesel at the moment. You know, you buy a you buy a diesel vehicle thinking you're going to spend, you, you know, you're going to save money on, on on fuel, but then the price of diesel goes through the roof, and suddenly you you're screwed. So, also, I like the fact that because it's a Toyota, parts are I say semi easy to come by. Like there are a few things like. The light on the side. It's very hard to get one of those in Australia, I've found. They don't tend to be readily available on, uh, on most uh, shop shelves. But that's okay, you can still get them from overseas, no problem. I found that also, in, this, in regards to spare parts, the aircon vents. Bought some new aircon vents off eBay, and in the ad it said, most of our competitors are the wrong size and do not fit in the inside the dash. Sorry, but neither did yours. The two outside ones fitted, but the ones in the centre did not. Something to bear in mind if you're going to be replacing these vents on there. So, anyway. Back to it. I've found also that these L-series engines seem to be very forgiving. You can pretty much throw anything at them. You can throw water, mud, all that at them, provided you've got a snorkel. The only thing that I've found that can destroy them is overheating. And like that's just, obviously that's just pretty much every car, but these ones especially, like I've found that you could do anything to them. You could pretty much run them without oil. You can, you know, whatever, but the minute they start getting hot, that's, <laughs> that's when you start Reckon big end bearings and piston rings and putting cracks in pistons, etc. All the good, good things in life. Again, off road wise, like the this thing, like I have no doubt that it would get me anywhere I want to go. Even though, like I don't go uh, full driving for the sake of full driving. I go full driving to get to a destination. The actual activity of full driving does not actually um, excite me that much. Uh, I like the adventure side of it. I like going to places, exploring, things like that. But you just never know what life's going to throw at you when you're out there trying to get to one of those places. You could come across rocks, you could come across mud and anything. And I've got to say, like, I, in my opinion, this vehicle would get you there. Provided you've bought a good one and your maintenance is all up to scratch. I mean, if you buy one that's been flogged to the shithouse, well, different story. 
but provided you buy one that's looked after, you've done maintenance on it, whatever. Overall, you know, like I, I love these things. You know, I wish I, I wish I could have this whole shed just full of them. I've even had thoughts about buying other ones, like you know, I, I've even thought about buying a second vehicle, like a single cab one as a second vehicle. That's how. That's how good I think they are. Some people in the comments down below are probably going to say like, That's fine. That's your opinion. And this is mine. And we're both entitled to it. So, that's my review. Um, if there's anything you think I should have touched on a bit more here, then feel free to leave it in the comments. If not, catch us next time. New video's coming soon.